Hello and welcome to the AP Daily video overview for AP Art and Design instructors. I'm Rebecca Stone Danahy, Director of AP Art and Design, and I'm also a 25 year veteran K through 12 art teacher. I completed my last year of teaching during the spring of 2020 and in quarantine, like all of you. Today, I am joined by AP Art and Design lead teacher for the AP Daily video series for Art and Design, Connie Jimenez Zamet. Hello, hello, I'm Connie Jimenez Zamet and Rebecca and I have collaborated for several months to develop video content that visualizes the AP Art and Design course and exam description, the CED. We're honored to work with fabulous veteran AP Art and Design teachers who help to share their best practices through informative lessons geared towards students. Thank you, Connie. So let's get started by discussing what we will learn. In this video, we will review how to navigate to AP Classroom, how the AP Daily videos align with the AP Art and Design course and exam description, otherwise known as the CED, how to view the videos, how to assign the videos, and how to track your students' progress in AP Classroom. It is important to note that to access the AP Daily videos, you will need to log in to myap.collegeboard.org. If you have completed the course audit process, you have been approved to teach an AP Art and Design class, and you have access to AP Classroom. Once logged in, click on the Home button at the top of the screen to view your authorized AP Classroom. After clicking on the selected AP Classroom, you will have access to all of the AP Daily video content created for each of the course skills within AP Art and Design. The videos build students' knowledge and skills across the AP Art and Design big ideas. AP Daily instructors are there to give teachers back time, reduce the need for longer lessons and presentations, and provide support throughout the CED. That's right, Rebecca. Every course skill will have at least one AP Daily video to support it. Students and educators can watch the videos on a mobile device or computer with internet access. The suite of AP Classroom tools can be used for in-person, blended, and remote learning. You'll notice on the first tab of the AP Classroom that teacher resources are available at your fingertips, including the CED and the description of all the AP Daily videos. When you click these links, you'll find PDFs for your reference. And here's an extremely useful tip. Did you know that you can search video content by keywords so that you can easily find AP Daily videos that align with your lessons? Or maybe you go back to content that you want to find again. I could quickly search for the student who used a refrigerator for presentation or the instructor who built his own chicken coop sharing his process or that video that referenced verbs and adverbs for describing process. I can preview and assign to students as a supplement to my teaching content. All right, it's time for a field trip. Field trip. Grab a buddy and let's go to AP Classroom to learn more. So here I am at my My AP um, dashboard. And you can notice here that there's several places that I can click on. I, over here in the yellow, I can click on AP Classroom or since I teach both 2D and drawing, I could go to either of these to click on AP Classroom. I'm gonna to go to drawing to start. So that was my AP class, or excuse me, my AP. This is now AP Classroom. Let's take a quick tour. You'll see some of the same things that we just saw on the slideshow. Um, I could go to information about the course, the course skills here. Um, a couple things that you might not know, if I've assigned a video, which I have, you can see this little black arrow, that means that I've assigned the video, so it will alert me of that. Um, if I look up here in the top right, there are some quick tips that I could use um, that I can look at that help me to navigate. Also, if I go to the help here, there are videos available and also um, for tutorials, for tech tutorials. And then there's also this form that you can fill out that will go directly for, for tech support. If I wanna to switch to in between courses, because I teach, um, like many people, I teach um, both courses in the same class period, I could go and 
um, go to that little carrot and move between the courses up here. You can see I've assigned the same video here. Once I click on, or once I hover over the video, I can see the details and, and a description about what's in that video. If I click on it, it takes me to the carousel. And at the top here, you can see that I've um, assigned this video and it tells me that 50% have watched it. If I clicked on the carrot, then um, it would show the specific students who have and have not watched it. So now that we know how to navigate AP Classroom from the teacher view, let's look at the student view. Students will also log into myap.collegeboard.org to view the AP Art and Design course for which they're registered and where they'll see their assigned videos. Note, this dashboard is what the front of my AP looks like for the students. Students should click on the AP Classroom link. From there, students will choose the AP Art course where they will access assigned videos and AP Classroom content. Once students are in their AP Classroom, they'll see a blue board like this with to-do cards where all of their assigned videos are accessible. You can see that this student started to watch this video, but it says continue here. And what I love most about this feature, Connie, is that students must watch 95% of an assigned video to be marked as completed within AP Classroom. That means that students cannot fast forward and skip through content, and this makes students accountable for their assigned independent learning. So let's look at an example of an AP Daily video. Like this presentation, students will be introduced to content at the start of each video, review examples, be encouraged to practice, and hear a review of what they have learned. Often AP Daily instructors will ask students to pause and complete an activity, much like what Connie does in Skill 2C Video 1 at the two minute marker. Now let's practice here how AP Daily videos can be used right away in your classroom. Take a moment to consider how you might incorporate an AP Daily video in your class for next week. What do your students need to understand better? Can you use a video as a bell ringer or warm up activity to correct their misunderstanding? Will you search for a keyword and assign a video as homework in a flipped classroom? Will you have students watch a video together and then do a think pair share? Pause here to write down your ideas. To explore possible uses of the AP Daily videos, I created a chart with ideas for how specific skills can be integrated into weekly lesson plans. This is meant to be a collaborative activity so teachers can benefit from learning how our peers are using the CED. Your participation in the conversation is welcome and important. Together we can work smarter, not harder. To join the conversation, make sure you're a member of the College Board AP Teacher Community. Resources are regularly posted to support your teaching practice. What should we take away? AP Daily videos were designed by AP Art and Design teachers for high school students to help them understand the CED and the course scoring guidelines, also known as rubrics. The AP Daily videos feature content that is relevant, digestible, and informative, and AP Daily supports your lesson planning and your student learning. Thank you. Now go teach your students to navigate their world by making art. Thank you, Connie, for your time today. And thank you to every AP Art and Design teacher. Your care and concern for students is remarkable. You are developing pedagogical best practices every day in real time, and you are appreciated. Thank you. <laughs>